Today I'm looking at a Mercedes ML uh, 350. I'm starting to think maybe it's my uh, pressure in the fuel line from the uh, pump that might be failing. So I'm going to go ahead and show you on these vehicles how to uh, check the PSI pounds per square inch in the fuel rail on these newer Mercedes. So I have a fuel pressure test kit that I got from the local car store and it comes with a whole bunch of other things like a voltmeter which we won't be using but here's the gauge along with the various fittings that I'll be uh, covering them. The most important thing is where to connect this fuel uh, gauge to, this PSI fuel pressure test kit to in your car or in your SUV and I'll be covering that um, since we're dealing with fuel safety first make sure you have a fire extinguisher just in case uh, you have any fires you want to be able to put it out quickly and uh, as soon as I finish drinking this chai tea we'll get started all right to get to the fuel uh, Get to the connection port on the fuel rail. You gotta start by taking off this cover, pull it up, take it off, exposing your uh, well known oil filter cover, oil filler, and some various other parts, including the ECM. Okay, then we're gonna remove the air intake hoses from the air filter module. There are two of them. Remove the left side. Remove the right side. Putting it out of the way. Then remove this hose that connects to the air filter port. Then we're gonna remove the air filter compartment that comes up by uh, there's a clip in the back pop that off and then you just pop this up and remove it <laughs> exposing the engine okay looking at the engine um, from the front of the vehicle on this side you'll see like the power steering column you also see your mass airflow sensor which when you're putting that air filter module back on you have to make sure it's seated properly with that clip as well but coming back forward to the oil filler right by the oil filler you will see slightly to the right of that I'm trying not to block it by the Sun you'll see this little port right here covered by a cap remove that cap Okay, removing that cap will expose where you're going to connect the fuel pressure kit. So let me remove that. And that's where the fuel pressure kit is going to go. Now looking at the fuel pressure kit, the gauge that I have, it has the connection piece that I'll need. I added the uh, 90 degree angle on it because it's hard to get into on the truck but most importantly it has this bleed hose or this pressure release hose and when we connect the uh, gauge all of this space in this pipe 
this hose is filled with air currently. So when we connect it up, we're going to have to let that air out. And this is what this bleed hose is for. I will drain that into a container and not on the ground. So I'm going to put the, uh, the drain hose into my container. my gauge where I can see it then I'm going to connect the uh, fuel pressure kit to the to the rail bit of fuel will come out. Make sure it's good and tight. So that it doesn't leak. Okay. Alright, so you're looking at the front of this ML350 2006 and uh, and beyond. And um, right here, I hooked up on the rail. Uh, fuel PSI tester. See? That hose goes to this right here. And it's showing that it's about 50 PSI of, fu of fuel pressure. I thought maybe my fuel pump was going bad, but it's a constant 50 plus PSI. Even when the engine isn't running, it holds it up at 50 PSI. And then uh, once I'm done, I'm going to drain out the PSI. I'm going to release, release the pressure into a container, gas container, and then remove it.